Hi there. Welcome to Madcap Lingo, the first native XML computer-aided translation or CAT tool. Not only is Lingo a fully integrated CAT tool, but it can also be used as a workflow management solution for translation. Let's talk first about using Lingo for translation management. This is where an author would use Lingo to transfer files to and from a translator. Why not just email documents to the translator or use some other simple method to transfer them? Well, there are a few reasons. First, Lingo lets the author and translator associate the files with translation memory and send TMX files back and forth. By using translation memory, you're able to keep costs down by leveraging previous translations. Second, some files can be pretty simple and straightforward, such as Word files, but if you have files created with very powerful documentation tools, such as Madcap Flare or Madcap Doc to help, there are lots of different kinds of files that make up projects, and it can be easy to forget to translate strings from some of those files. Lingo takes care of this for you, so that you don't have to worry about it. Third, Lingo lets you view statistics, reports, and the status for files, making sure everything is as complete as it should be. You can even send translated content to a third party for review. Using Lingo for translation management is very simple. First, the author creates a new Lingo project, choosing the files requiring translation. Second, the author has the option of creating a new translation memory database or importing one from the translator or somewhere else. Third, the author uses Lingo to prepare a translation bundle, which is simply a zip file containing all the files, the optional translation memory, and even term bases. The author then sends this zip file to the translator. Fourth, the translator uses either Lingo or a third-party CAT tool to translate the files. That person then puts the translated files back into a zip file and sends them to the author. Fifth, the author takes the zipped bundle from the translator and merges it back into the Lingo project. The author can then use different features in Lingo to ensure the completeness of the translation work. And finally, the author uses Lingo to export the files to the necessary format. For example, if the files were from a Flare project, a new translated Flare project will be created. If the files were from a Word document, a new translated Word document will be created. So that's how to use Lingo for translation management. But what if you want to use Lingo as a CAT tool? No problem. Here's the scoop. First, Lingo will let you translate all kinds of different files. Flare projects, other Madcap software files, Word documents, HTM or XML files, Excel, PowerPoint, and so on. After you create a new Lingo project, the first thing you might want to do is connect to a translation memory database and tell Lingo to translate your project based on those previous translations. This can save you a lot of time by applying 100% matches to segments in your files. You also have the option of using machine translation, pointing to vendors such as DeepL, MyMemory, and others. A good initial machine translation of your project can really give you a good head start. The File List window pane lets you view and open the files that need to be translated. In the Translation Editor, you can see the text strings in the original language, and you can type translation in each empty cell. When working in the editor to translate the text, there are all kinds of features that you can use to help you. If you're using translation memory, you can see full or partial matches and apply them. A filter at the top of the editor lets you limit the segments that are shown in the editor. Also, you can click a toggle button to open a live preview mode for certain types of files such as Word, PowerPoint, Madcap Flare, or Madcap Capture Images with callouts. Live preview mode displays next to the translation editor and updates in real time as you make changes in the editor. You can control formatting at other elements such as tags so that the translation matches the source. Lingo also lets you leverage information from features such as term bases, the sources, and dictionaries as you work. And there are many more features at your fingertips. For more about translation memory and term bases, see our videos about those features. Also see this topic in the online help for more information about the different features offered by Lingo. After you finish translating the files and save your work, you can simply export the Lingo project to the same type of project or file that you started out with. Finally, what if you're an author or documentation manager and you don't know any translators or the first thing about translation? But you have this big collection of documentation that you need to get translated, maybe into multiple languages. A great solution is to contact MAD Translation, the translation services division of MADCAP Software. The quality management processes for MAD Translation ensures that we deliver technically accurate translations and localization solutions to help companies succeed in international markets. Our unique understanding of the technical authoring industry, combined with the highest commitment to customer satisfaction and value, ensures every stage of the project lifecycle meets the highest quality standards. Our tools leverage previously translated text to reduce the time and cost of translating new projects 
and rely on stored terminology to ensure consistency across every client project. So there you have it, Madcap Lingo and Mad Translations. Great solutions for both the author and the translator. Thanks for watching and happy translating.